Hi eBay sellers and welcome back to another eBay Supersize Sales. We are picking back up on the June thread, the dedicated thread in my Facebook group. And we're going to pick up with Joy Unger. Here's a interesting item that I'll bet most of you have never seen or sold. She says, found at the bins, paid about 90 cents, listed one week auction starting at $99. This is a full set of dentures, false teeth, both upper and lower with a case. And these sold for $173. There's some conversation over on the side. Lisa says, wait, what could someone possibly want with these? And Joy says, I haven't a clue. I saw someone post here about them years ago, so it rang a bell when I saw them. I imagine an artist. Well, I don't have the answer to that either, but these do sell, so dentures. <laughs> Anything sells on eBay. Okay, next up is Lisa. Bought the set of six Build-A-Bears for $12 at a yard sale on Saturday. They were dressed as Oz characters. Sold the next day to a collector who didn't even want the stuffed animals, so it was easier to ship. Listed at $190, but took a best offer of $125 the next day. Also made $9 on shipping. I could have sold each character separately, Dorothy being the most valuable at $60, but wanted the quick cash. So her investment was $12, and she sold this lot of Wizard of Oz Build-A-Bears for $125. Next up is Jenny Baum. She says, I'm thrilled about the return of the thread dedicated to supersize sales. Well, thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. She paid $8 at a thrift store, took a year to sell, had some low ball offers, but I held out for my price. Buyer also paid about $51 for shipping to Israel. This is a shot western leather jacket, and again, paid $8, sold for $150. Next up is Lynn Merritt, paid $25 at Salvation Army Thrift Store, sold today for $125. Nice to see this sold on my birthday. Well, happy birthday a little bit late, Lynn. This is the complete Aubrey Maturin Novels by Patrick O'Brien, five-volume box set. Again, she paid $25. It sold for $125. Next up is KC, who has something he probably pulled out of a dumpster or the recycling bin. So let's see. <laughs> $30 at a garage sale. Okay, I stand corrected. Sold for $209.95 in three days. This is a Bose digital home theater speaker system. $30 sold for $209. Next up is Beth Breidenbach. She sold these Zegna ties. She's got a little tip for us, so this is a niche I'm trying to get into, so this helps me too. Zegna Quindici tie paid $3.99 at Goodwill, sold the same day as listed for $130. Very few Zegna ties are worth this. Look for Quindici or Ventasync printed on the skinny portion as shown on the left side of this picture. And then she's got a little follow-up story. I just got this amazingly kind feedback below from the buyer. Note, this is Beth's note. Nice ties should always be stored and shipped rolled rather than folded. This time I put the roll inside a poly bag and nested the poly with peanuts in a four by four by six box. Worth the effort for the profit margin. And the buyer's feedback was beautiful tie, fantastic and professional seller, quick shipping. We'll definitely do business with this seller again. 
Also should be noted, I have 60 to 75 Zegna, Guendici, and Ventasync ties in this, possibly the best packed one I've ever received, and that includes from luxury department stores. So Beth got it right on that. And so again, this is a tie. She paid $3.99 and it sold for $130. Next up is Dawn Feel. She says, bought at an estate sale on last day for $10, listed right away on auction. This is a rare Wentworth wooden jigsaw puzzle, cat's selfie, 1,000 pieces, and it sold for $163. And Jessica asked, how did you know this was a bolo? Is it the subject matter or the brand of puzzle? After all these years of reselling, I'm still amazed at what people will pay money for. And posts like these make me realize I'm probably passing up a lot of bolo items during my searches. Don't feel bad, Jessica. We all are. There's always more to learn. <laughs> anyway, Dawn says it was the brand. It's the number of pieces and they are wood. So yes, wooden puzzles with a lot of pieces, you know, not the little ones for kids that only have like 10 pieces. Um, those are going to be expensive because they're expensive to make. Okay, next up is Dawn McMaster. Paid 50 cents and sold for $275. This was an incomplete vintage antique spun glass wings moth these are very rare and usually broken if you do find one as they are delicate they are decor for feather trees i got this in a huge christmas lot i paid a hundred dollars for everything at an estate sale and i still have lots left even after selling quite a bit so there you see the photo of it 50 cents and sold for 275 dollars and then Dawn has another one I paid a dollar for this book at an estate sale found it in with a bunch of dusty old books in the garage this book is in French and it went to a buyer in France I accepted best offer of three hundred and forty dollars very happy about this sale well I can imagine a dollar and it sold for three hundred and forty dollars La Petite Prince hardcover, uh, 1943. It's a French book, so dollar can uh, make a lot of money for you if you're picking the right things. Next up is Laura Bullington Coble, found at a thrift store for $2.99. Almost did not buy because my phone does not work in this particular part of the city, and I don't really like to pay more than a dollar for things but went ahead and picked it up and was surprised to see the comps and the sale. Took about five or six weeks to sell, plus it was missing a few pieces of glass and screws, but someone wanted it. This is a 18 karat gold electroplated photo mini picture frames. They're like accordion. They can expand or compact. And she said she paid $2.99 and it sold for $149.99. That's something I would have passed by, so I'm gonna start looking at those little picture frames now. Okay, we've got another one from Laura. Bought at a garage sale for $5. Have had it listed for months at $52 and could not move it. Hired a teenager to do my shipping last week as I was out of town, but I did not want this to sell while I was gone because I did not want her to have to figure out how to ship it. So I raised the price to three times what I had originally had it listed at for months. And of course, it sold while I was out of town. <laughs> so this is, oh wow, look at this item. Vintage aluminum rocking chair, pink webbed straps. It sold for $125. And Mary says, 
I still can't believe it sold for three times, but it proves your theory of highest price wins. So yes, I go back to these items that just sit and sit, but they have watchers and they're getting views. Raise the price and see if that will jiggle the watchers into action because people are more likely to take action if the price is going up than if it's going down or just stays the same. So that is a great strategy to get some items moving if your sales are stale. Okay, and then we've got another one from Laura. She had a great week. This one sold within a few days of listing. I paid it I paid up for it at Goodwill at $39, but it was brand new and the comps looked promising. The buyer paid $70 to ship it. This is a Cuisinart Supreme commercial quality ice cream maker. And it looks like it's new in the box, but the listing doesn't say. Anyway, she paid $39 and it sold for $170. Okay, now we've got Laura. She just keeps going. She's got a bunch in a row. <laughs> so we need to pay attention to what she's selling. Okay, she says she found this one for $8 at a local thrift. At the time, I did not know much about glass, but I knew it was signed, so I took a chance. And now I am fascinated with glass and have really enjoyed learning about different types of glass. This is a signed Murano glass vase very interesting looking eight dollars and it sold for 200 and then laura's got a couple more here some clothing she says and finally these sets were basically free to me because most of them were my kids old clothes but it was time to size up i love to lot these two brands Thanks for doing this post. I learned so much from everyone. Well, thank you, Laura, and we're all learning a lot from you this week. <laughs> this is a lot of Under Armour and Nike shorts. It looks like size boys large. And then it looks like um, this is a relative of Laura, maybe your sister, that says, remind me to quit giving you our hand-me-downs because <laughs> Laura's selling them. Um, and then here's another one. This is a lot of Han Hannah Anderson girls clothing that sold for $100. So that's a great way to get your money back out of clothing that you bought for your children that they've outgrown. And then you can invest that money in the next size. And it's just so much more affordable than just donating to charity. But you know, when it, it's in the family, you got to be careful what you sell because you might uh, cause some problems there. Okay, now we're on to Mary Bullington Bost. She says, bought a set of three Pottery Barn Mongolian fur pillows for $30 on Facebook Marketplace for myself. I only needed two and was going to sell the third to make my money back. Inside two of the pillow cases were these Cat Studio embroidered pillows, New York and California. So these pillows were free and a surprise buy. Both sold within a month. The New York City one sold for $95 and the California one sold for $103.99. So a little hidden surprise in there, but if you're not looking at the linen section at your thrift store, garage sales, state sales, anything that has a lot of detailed embroidery is going to be worth good money. Okay, now we're moving on to Sarah Pete. Paid $15 at an estate sale, took best offer of $200 plus shipping. She listed this at $225 and it took a couple of weeks. Vintage Pendleton Beaver State Wool Blanket $200 and she paid $15 for it. Okay, now we've got Myra. Jewelry Designs is her stage name. Bought for $6 at an estate sale and sold for $100 plus shipping. Took a few months to sell. This is a porcelain vase. 
six dollars sold for a hundred next up is Nancy bar straws paid oh, I'm sorry bought at a local thrift store for seven dollars my first Johnny was well congratulations these can be really high dollar and again we've got that very detailed embroidery Johnny was top embroidered size small sold for two hundred and forty seven dollars and thirty cents and her cost was seven dollars okay now we've got Wendy Kruger paid four dollars at Savers sold for 120 plus shipping this is a Givenchy square pendant necklace very chunky basic looking piece but beautiful four dollars sold for a hundred and twenty and Wendy knows jewelry that is her specialty okay next up is ginger lamp bright bought this a week ago at a garage sale for ten dollars sold for best offer of a hundred and nine dollars plus shipping it's a box fan it's a vintage Lasco oscillating fan in the box ten dollars sold for a hundred and nine okay now we've got Mayra jewelry designs again she says paid two dollars at a garage sale sold in 10 days on auction for $211.39. This is a rare Avery vintage sterling silver medallion pendant. Okay, next up we've got Mandy Bryant Junk. She says sold for $300 plus shipping. Picked up a lot of different vintage snapback hats for free at a garage sale last month. I finally took pictures and listed this one while I was watching my daughter at gymnastics. I'm guessing she took the pictures at home and then just did the listing while she was waiting on her daughter's lesson. I was in the middle of cross-listing it to other platforms and heard the ka -ching. My eyes bugged out, then I immediately thought I left money on the table due to the ultra fast sale but I was pleased with the pure profit this is a vintage 90s sports specialties Chicago Bulls snapback hat that sold for three hundred dollars and I know I'm repeating myself but it may be someone's first time hearing this that when you get a really fast sale like this it doesn't mean you priced it too low someone probably had an alert set up and was notified as soon as you listed it and then bought it right away so just do your research be confident in your research and understand that people do use those alerts okay we've got uh, Mayra again fifteen dollars at a garage sale listed at hundred and twenty on ten days auction and it sold for hundred and ninety four dollars this is an antique 1920s camp for glass diamond 14 karat white gold ring it looks like a signet ring but it's got glass in the middle very interesting fifteen dollars and sold for just under two hundred okay Melanie Johnson got for free off Facebook marketplace with other sleep number bed parts sold in three days this is a sleep number hose pump it sold for $149.95 and it was free. Now we've got KC again with a funky looking item. He says $30 at an estate sale sold for $199.95 in three weeks. This is a Gitzo Series 2 tripod head. So I'm guessing this is a camera tripod holder thing that you would stick on top of the tripod to stabilize it I don't know I'm just guessing so KC you can fill us in on exactly what this is and does but $30 and sold for 200 in just under three weeks okay then we've got Nancy Zimmer 
bought a small box of Christmas items at an estate sale for $5, found these pixies inside the box. They were quite worn and losing their paint, sold on auction for $102.50. So you can see they are Lefton brand. That is a vintage brand and they're made in Japan. So you can tell when an item was made based on where it was made. So Japan is definitely vintage. So sold for $102.50. Okay, Alessa Victoria sold for asking price of $125. Buyer paid shipping. Sold in six days. I paid under $4 for the set of four dinner plates. This is a set of four Thomas Germany Arcta white dinner plates. They look so plain. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't think this is one of those wowza items, but um, she paid $4 for a set of four and sold them for $125 and says this is her first $100 sale. So congratulations on making the video, Lessa. Okay, moving on to Natalie Healy. Paid $20 for this set at a yard sale. Sold it in a couple of weeks for $129. The Best of Modern Marvels DVD, 2007, 14 disc set, $129. And I love that show. <laughs> that and how it's made just are really interesting. And box sets always do well. People want the full set. So she paid $20 and sold this for $129. Okay, next up is Diana Duhon. Paid $15 at an estate sale, took best offer of $150 plus shipping after 19 days. I'm going to enlarge that so you can see it. I included a video of the snow globe working on the listing by following Suzanne's tutorial in the premium library. So this is a Harry Potter snow globe music box that sold for $150 and she paid $15. Okay, next up we've got Casey again with what looks like some sort of electronics. $10 sold for $250 in 18 hours. This is a Bose Sound Dock digital music system with Bluetooth. <laughs> Doing well on the electronics this week, Casey. You never disappoint. Okay, next up is Jerry Thompson. This antique spark plug was in a drawer in my mom's garage. It was so cool looking, and then I saw the 1921 date and got very excited. Sold in about three weeks and is going to Germany. So you can see there it is a vintage spark plug, free, and sold for $100. Okay, Rachel Surface. Let's see what she's got here. She's got a little bit of a story. Decided to stop at a large barn sale on the last day of the sale. I'd already been on day one, but you never know, right? I saw this McCoy duck planter right away with a $7.50 price tag on it, but have seen a ton of McCoy going for not much, so passed on it. Picked up some other items, had a long chat with a friend having the sale, and before leaving, I decided to go ahead and take a gamble on the duck. I didn't talk the price down because the seller was a friend with a lot of kids to feed. When I researched this, I saw that similar McCoy duck planner sold for a bit, but didn't have the umbrella, so I listed it as rare. It was also in excellent condition. Put it on a seven-day auction with free shipping. It sold for $212.50. So her investment was $7.50 for this McCoy ceramic planter. Okay, now I've got Diana again. Paid $1.99 at Goodwill. Took best offer of $350 plus free shipping. 
Wow. This is Fairy Tale Tarot Cards by Lisa Hunt. Actually, it's not cards. It looks like a book because it's a first edition. So $1.99, and she sold it for $350, and this was a Goodwill. So they don't catch everything. There's evidence of that in every single video, in every single Money Making Mondays post. People are saying, found it at Goodwill, found it at Goodwill, so they cannot catch everything. Okay, Jessica Cagle Faber. Paid probably $15, sold for full asking price of $139. This is a Barbie. And it was in the box with some damage, but still classified as new. $15, sold for $140. Now we've got Robert Hudson. Picked up this universal remote for $4 at Goodwill. Sold in three days for $115 plus shipping. Logitech Harmony Universal Remote Control. And this is also a category I'm going to learn because I keep seeing these and I need to figure out what makes them valuable, which ones to pick up, which ones to leave behind, but $4 and flipped for 115 in three days is something I would like to get into. <laughs> I want to be a part of that. Okay, here's another mind-blowing one. Lisa picked up as a large lot of vintage toys at a yard sale. If I had to guess, this cost me $25. Sold at full price in two weeks. I could have parted it out and made more money, but I also have a full-time job so lots are the way to go for me, meaning it's all about time. So this is Fisher Price Fun with Food. So this is just a bunch of fake play food for like a little play kitchen. $25 and this sold for $109.95. I mean, how many of us had this stuff? Diana Duhon says that she did. We had this growing up in the 80s. We had all this fake food and play kitchen stuff, and if only we had known to save it. <laughs> Moving right along, we've got Wendy Kruger again with a non-jewelry item. She says, paid a dollar at a church thrift shop, sold for $125 plus shipping in a week. This is... Julia Child, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, 1961 Book Club Edition. A dollar sold for $125. Okay, Gail Craft Murphy, Vintage 1960s Carl May German Language Hardbacks. So books, free pickup from Facebook Marketplace. It just took a short three months to sell, heading overseas. These sold for $139.99, and they were free. Look at all you scavengers out there finding free stuff to sell. That's called being resourceful. Heather Ransom sold a vintage Dirk West poster featuring Texas Tech. I didn't know what drew me to it, but it looked interesting and was professionally framed. Purchased for $5 at a local thrift. It sold on second round of auction two weeks for $177.50 plus shipping. So she apparently didn't succeed the first time on auction, so she ran it again. Biggest sale in a while. I started the first auction too high and saw tons of interest, so I started the second auction at 125 instead of 285 So there you can see it's just a funky-looking poster. $5 sold for $177.50. Now, our cover photo and my friend Kelly Shaw. Kelly and I go way back, and... Kelly, I can't even remember how we first met, if it was on like an Amazon group and we were doing FBA or if it was on 
eBay, Yahoo group, something way back in the <laughs> the dawn of time of reselling. <laughs> so it's good to see you're still doing it too. So what does she have here? Acquired in an estate left over buyout was a box with these old new made satin soft margarine bowls with one lid and cups. We nearly put them in our garage sale, but thought to try them on eBay first. Holy smokes! The 11 bowls and one lid sold at the end of the seven-day auction for a whopping $127.50. The buyer paid immediately and has left us positive feedback. The cups we split into three separate auctions, and those sold for a total of $79.55. Never in our wildest imagination did we think these would bring in so much money. So if you look at the picture there, they are new made satin soft margarine bowls. And the bowls, some of them have like a texture, like a little design on them. But this is a vintage collectible apparently. And I remember everybody used to save these things like the plastic parquet margarine tubs and you know Weight Watchers had these little tubs of their margarine product and um, everybody saved them because you could use them like Tupperware and just you wouldn't have to buy Tupperware you just use these over and over again so I just wonder how many more of these types of things are out there that we're gonna find because People did save them like by the hundreds, <laughs> especially if you had a garden. You could put your, um, you know, your garden stuff, your vegetables in there and then just freeze it in the, the plastic like that. But who knew? $127.50 for some plastic margarine containers. Okay, Julia Marchinko. Bought for $20 from another local dealer who sadly passed away. Her sister-in-law got my name from someone and I was able to pick and choose from her inventory. Sold for a best offer of $200 after two months. And this is a very vintage 50s beige wool swing coat with fur cuffs. I mean, look at that. That just says mid-century modern. So this was $20 and she sold it for $200. Moving on to David Schneider. Paid $40 at a thrift store for this golf bag and clubs. I listed the bag separately and it sold in one day for $119 plus buyer paid shipping. So it's a Titleist golf bag, $40, sold for $119 in one day. That's what's amazing is how fast some of these things sell. So get your death piles listed. This could happen to you. Kimberly McCoy Furman. I bought these at an estate sale for a dollar. Several low offers, but I just waited and someone bought for full asking. These are antique American optical green sunglasses, vintage old steampunk, $150, and she paid $1. Now I've got Casey again with another electronics item, pulled out of the recycling bin for $10, sold in four days, Microsoft Xbox Console, tested and working. Sold for $199.95 and it cost him $10. Now we've got Elizabeth Burning. Rescued from a local thrift dumpster. Bought it, brought it home, cleaned it up, and used Google Lens to translate all the controls that were in Japanese and tested it. The sound and picture quality were amazing. Could only find one listed for parts only for $50. Listed it for $129. Took best offer of $100 plus shipping after six weeks. So this is a sharp, portable, color TV, multiplex sound system Japanese model. So it was a dumpster find free 
sold for $100. And then we have Elizabeth Burning again. This says, from my 22-year-old daughter. She bought me a bag of items. Oh, sorry. She brought me a bag of items she's downsizing for her move to England. Looked it up and saw they sell consistently. Listed it for $139. Sold in six hours. So from zero to $120. Best offer accepted. So it is a pen touch tablet. That's a cool looking thing. So she's accepted an offer of 120 on this and it was free. Now we've got Brian Rappaport paid $10 at an estate sale, sold in 10-ish days for $329.99. Sonos Connect Wireless Speaker, $10 sold for $329. And then Brian's got another one here, Paid $2 at a garage sale, sold for $119.99 in a few days. These types of Olympus 35mm point and shoot cameras are easy money. I've sold at least six or seven in the last few months. Sandy asks if he tests them, and Brian said yes, and explained a bit about the batteries. And then we're going to go down. KC says, just found a Zoom 130 yesterday based only on this post. So here you have some of the heavy hitters in the group that sell high dollar items consistently are saying that they learn from this thread in this group. So take it from the experts. You just have to constantly study all the time and just learn new stuff all the time. Now Brian's got some sunglasses here, paid $10 at an estate sale, sold for $299.99 in less than two weeks. These are Ray-Ban shooter glasses uh, with yellow lenses, $10 and sold for $300. And then here's another pair of glasses. Same estate sale as the glasses above, paid $10 and sold for $199.99 in a few days. Another pair of Ray-Ban shooter glasses, but they don't have the yellow lenses. Not bad. Okay, Brian's got another item, paid $35 as part of a large sports card purchase in April, sold for $219.99. These are some Topps Finest NFL cards. Yeah, like collector cards. 35 sold for 220. Okay, that's it for Brian. <laughs> Very successful week. Okay, Penny Blunk. Purchased at an auction for $30 for the pair. Sold in two weeks for full asking price. Pair of alabaster table lamps, neoclassical Italian marble. $30 sold for $145. Now we've got Michelle Smith with an interesting character here. She says, paid $7.50 at a church sale. I picked her as my second doll to get the two for $15 price instead of $10 to go with my strawberry shortcake doll I was buying. I chose her because of her condition and the McDonald's logo. I figured I'd be safe making my money back. I listed her the same day and she sold in a day or two for full asking price. I thought I listed her high based on comps, international buyer, sold for $299.95 and the investment was $7.50. Rare McDonald's Cindy doll with the brown uniform. Yikes, I remember that uniform. <laughs> that is a cool item. Okay, now we've got Don McMaster with a skateboard. 
bought this online for $75 and flipped it for $150. These boards sell out fast. This is a Hookups Sexy Nurse Nikki Skateboard. $75 and flipped it for $150. Now I've got David Schneider. Bought these toner cartridges on Facebook Marketplace for $120, sold in five days for $255, plus buyer paid shipping. For hard goods like this, only one or two poor photos are needed. No measuring, etc. Easy to ship. Love these flips. So these were HP ink toner cartridges. $120 and flipped it for $255. Okay, we've got KC again. It's been a few minutes since we've heard from him. $5 at a garage sale, sold for $119.95 in three days. I seem to find and flip a lot of old iPods. 160 gigabyte size certainly gets the higher prices. So there you can see Apple iPod. 160 gigabyte, five dollars sold for 119.95. Now we've got Kim Spence, bought from a local auction site, paid five dollars, sold within 24 hours, and had four DVDs missing. This is a Bonanza seasons one through five on DVD, new in the package. $5 sold for $120, and it wasn't even the complete set. Next up is Jody Clark. Picked up five of these new sealed 1989 3M metal bias cassette tapes for $2 each, so $10 total. Listed for $29.95, plus free shipping each with discount for buying more than one. Someone bought them all for $119.80 in less than a day. So cassette tapes still sell. Okay, Gail Craft Murphy. $1 find at New To Me Church Thrift Store. Took two weeks to sell for $137. Sadly, I accidentally let it drop into a 25% off sale, but can't be too sad with the profit and quick turnaround. So this is Ender's Game by Orson Scott card signed leather bound hardcover book. And Eileen Cole who is I call her the book lady because she just sells so many books. She says Easton Press books are always a bolo. Sadly I have yet to ever find one. Well that's good information. Okay, moving on to Max Green. Paid $5.99 at Goodwill, sold for best offer of $152 with free shipping in almost in exactly one month. Utah Jazz Jersey, number 12. $5.99, sold for $152 plus free shipping. And now we have entered the Max Green zone because she has another item here. She says, I don't know why, but I have some sort of radar for Patricia Nash bags. I always feel a strong pull towards a particular goodwill. And when I'm looking through the purses, I'll feel so sure somehow that I'll find one. And I always tell myself that the odds of that aren't high and don't be disappointed if I don't find one, but then I always do. I don't even know the brand. Oh, I didn't even know the brand until I started reselling. Anyway, I bought this bag at Goodwill for $14.99, then realized when I got home, it still had the tags. So that was a nice surprise. Sold for best offer of $100 with free shipping in three weeks. And I understand what you're talking about with that intuitive pull to go somewhere. Listen to that and go with it and trust it because I don't know if it's like the thrifting angels or what it is, but 
things usually turn out well for me when I listen to that intuitive pull to go to a certain store or look for a certain thing. Trust your intuition. Okay, another one from Max found this Howler Brothers Limited Edition Austin City Limits Music Festival Pearl Snap at Goodwill for $6.99. I'd sold a hat in the past from the same brand, same line of merchandise, and remembered it had sold for between $70 and $100. So I knew this was a good find. I listed it on the high end of comps and accepted a best offer of $150 with free shipping after about three weeks. So there you can see it, $6.99 and it sold for $150. Okay, and Max has another item and this is the Bolo Bingo of the video because this item is in my Bolo handbook on page 96. So what is it? It's the Baby Morgan Blanket. Max bought it on Mercari for $75, sold in about two months for $274.50. I have another Baby Morgan solid white that I bought from the same seller on Mercari, so should probably get to listing that. So here you can see it, and Lauren says, Glad to see these are still hot. I look every time in the thrift. And Max says, same. I've found them in the wild a couple of times, and it's so exciting. And this is, I don't want to say common, but it has been repeated many times over the years. People are finding these Baby Morgan blankets, and they can sell for up to $350 based on my research. Obviously, if it's new in the package, it's going to be worth more. But for those of you with your handy dandy Bolo handbook, you can see this item is on page 96, and that will help you remember to look for it. Okay, we've got Eileen Cole with books. <laughs> she says, I have $20 into this vintage Travis McGee paperback series, which I got at my favorite charity used book sale. Sold for $149 plus shipping in five days. $20 investment sold for $149. And then we've got Eileen Cole again. She says, I have $3 into this Dragon Lance paperback trilogy found at my favorite charity used book sale. Sold for $149 via offer to watchers. Took one month to sell. So $3 sold for $149 on offer. And then Eileen has another, what is this, magazines or books? Nope, those are hardcover books. She says, I pick up DK Eyewitness Kids books whenever I see them for a dollar or less and assemble a bundle. They are mostly from my favorite charity used book sale, but also from thrift stores. This large lot of 33 cost me $33 and took three months to sell for the full asking price of $189. So there you have it. Another edition of Super Size $100 Sales. This one goes up to June 20th. So keep adding your sales onto this thread and we will start a new one in July. Thanks to everyone who participates and comments and likes and supports this thread because it really does help everybody learn and make more money. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.